Cummins Power Generation set out on a mission to earn Oshpod pre-approval for its entire line of emergency power systems. Previously, the company had won pre-approval for its low-range generator sets, as well as its transfer switches and digital master controls. What remained was getting the high-range generator sets pre-approved. So a team from Cummins Power Generation and Panache Engineering brought a 2,000 kilowatt genset to the Peer Lab at the University of California at Berkeley. Here, on the largest multi-dimensional shake table in the United States, the genset would be put to the test. The Litters OSHPD stands for OSHPD, which is the acronyms for the uh, Office of State-Wide uh, Health Planning and Development. And uh, OSHPD is the building authority in California responsible for healthcare facilities. We have a high probability of having a severe earthquake. OSHPD uh, intent is to make sure that the uh, emergency power supply for hospitals is up and running after a severe uh, seismic event. The time to do a project pre-approval is very consuming, it's a very long process and you won't be able to find a table, a seismic table to do the, that large size um, equipment testing. So the, the pre-approval is, uh, is very important uh, to save time and money. Cummins was the first power generation manufacturer to pursue seismic certification by testing. Uh, they were the first power generation manufacturer to obtain seismic certification for their transfer switches, uh, digital master control, and uh, generators. The shaker table is part of our experimental facilities, and it was really the, the beginning of our uh, experimental facility. It's, it's been around since uh, 1970, so it has quite a, a good history to it. Uh, the purpose of the shake table is to, is to be able to perform experimentation on structures. Um, uh, analysis is not sufficient by itself. It has to be really coupled with uh, experimental work. And that was the reason for, the, for the creating the shake table in the first place. The sensors we have on the shake table are used to measure acceleration uh, and displacements. Uh, these uh, these are, are the two um, uh, measurements that are critical to assess the, uh, what's going on with the structure, uh, with the accelerations, we, we know what sort of forces are, are occurring with the displacements, we know what kind of uh, uh, damage is occurring. This test is very unique. Uh, we, uh, we are excited to be here in the University of Berkeley because the, this is a very large gen, uh, gen set that we are testing. It's a 2,000 uh, kilo, kilowatt uh, generator. Uh, will be the, the first uh, uh, large generator to be tested on a tri -axel table. Uh, uh, of, of Berkeley, and we're using uh, different configurations uh, to, to make sure that the, uh, that genset can pass uh, any seismic event at any uh, configurations. It's a 2000 DQKB, it's a 2 megawatt standby rated genset, about 35,000 pounds, 20 feet long, 8 feet wide, and about 9 feet tall. Our transfer switches and parallel systems were recently tested in a similar seismic uh, laboratory in Minnesota and have recently received an OSHPOD OSP certification number for pre-approval. When you select a complete power system, including transfer switches, parallel gear, and genset from one supplier, you've selected a system that was designed and engineered to operate together as one complete system. That one supplier can maintain and repair that complete system, whether it's the transfer switch, the parallel gear or the gen set and has all the systems in place and in, and in inventory to make that repair quickly. The mission was successful. Cummins Power Generation earned Oshpod pre-approval for its high range generator sets. It is thus the first and to date the only manufacturer to have a full line of generator sets from 10 kilowatts to 2500 kilowatts as well as transfer switches and digital master controls all pre-approved under the strict OSHPOD standards. Hospitals and other critical care facilities can now save time and money by specifying a complete pre-approved emergency power system from Cummins Power Generation.